This year, EMS experienced an extremely high number of students interested in BAM. 50 incoming sixth graders signed up for BAM. In addition to these, seven grade students who hadn't previously been in BAM made it their top choice elective. Fortunately, we are able to find a way to accommodate every student. The band you see before us meets in three separate class periods taught by two instructors. Mr. Selwyn Reed, the band director from Paul W. Bryan High School, comes to EMS and teaches two classes. He starts by teaching a sixth grade brass class. He then stays and team teaches a team class with Ms. Brown. They divide the seventh grade band class into two sections, beginning band and advanced band. The third section of the beginning band is sixth grade woodwind and percussion taught by Ms. Brown. We are very fortunate that our school administrations work together to allow this, and we are incredibly grateful for the opportunity to work with your students and to grow the band program. Please enjoy the remainder of the beginning band performance with a Mozart medley, Mind Raider, and Jingle Bells. Usually, if I have a word to say, I make it at the very, very end, but I'm going to go ahead and say some words before this particular band leaves the stage. <clears throat> now, Z just explained to you how this band comes to be, and this is just a fraction of the students that are signed up for beginning band. We're probably missing 20 more students. Um, and I'd like to recognize somebody that's in the audience. The man that she spoke of, Mr. Selwyn Reed, the band director from Paul, to Paul W. Bryan is here. So Mr. Reed, would you mind standing up? <laughs> Any band director, whether it's myself or Mr. Reed, we are all about growing our program and we're all about self-preservation. And we get out there and we recruit and we make our, our face known to the students that will eventually be um, in our program or the students that we wish to recruit into our program, but there really cannot be enough said about the administration here at Eastwood and the administration at Paul W. Bryant High School for working together to make it possible for him to come over two periods a day and to spend time with these students so that, number one, we can have everybody that wants to be in band be in band here but then two, so that he can get to know them and, and establish that relationship so that they stay on through in band on through and into his program. Um, and we're incredibly fortunate because not every place, not even every place in Tuscaloosa City, but certainly not everywhere do you have administrators that are open and to that and sensitive and listen to their directors and make it a priority to find a way to make it happen. So before this band plays their last song, I just need y'all to give Miss Martin a hand.
because without her and without Dr. Harper and, and Brian, we would have had to say, okay, well, a class can only have 40, and we would have had to cut them off. But they made it their priority, and they made it happen in the schedule, and Mr. Reed made it happen in his schedule, and enough can't be said for the foundation that we're laying in sixth grade and in seventh grade because we found a way to accommodate those students. So I just needed to say again how appreciative I am and to, for the parents to know and recognize what our administration is doing for us.